So if you want to learn Linux and free software, you can start by looking at the Linux Professional Institute's uh, Linux Essentials Objectives. Learn each one, and then when you get to the end of them, you'll have a good understanding of user-level Linux. Then if you would like to become a systems administrator, you can start with the objectives for LPIC 1, and then go on to LPIC 2, and finally LPIC 3. But you'll find a path that will take you to learning the things you need to be a Linux systems administrator. If you want to learn programming, there's many books on how to program Linux systems, typically in libraries, and even on the web where you can pull them down for free. O'Reilly has many books that have PDF forms on the net that you can pull down. And of course, there's free culture where you can take a look at things like Project Gutenberg for books that are out of copyright for teaching things. Um, there's many, many open source projects and free information exchange on the internet for you to look at. I also will mention the Raspberry Pi that runs Linux. And for $35, you can have a complete computer system to change the operating system and see what would happen, to change the scheduler, to create a new file system, to, you know, you don't have to do the whole thing. You can make a small change, which might have a big impact. And that's what free software is all about. Thank you so much.